A friend of mine in college dabbled in stone carving and he gave me a piece one time when I was I think 19 and I could see the potential of the medium and then tried to kind of push the material um, further than that I thought was possible. I will order in um, a crate of stone, a few thousand pounds of stone, unload it in the garage or in the, in the studio or even take it outside. And then I will um, lay it out and just kind of study it and live with it. Um, and then ideas will come from there. The City of Edina contacted me in 2008 about uh, purchasing a piece to show in City Hall. Uh, the work that I do, at least in stone, is not suitable to outdoor display. So they wanted something big enough to see in a public space, but not too big that it couldn't be moved. I had never worked what they call Belgian black marble before. It's a very hard, very brittle stone. And because it's so hard and so brittle, it polishes uh, very cleanly. And when you put a line in it, uh, it's a very uh, refined looking line. In northern Minnesota, there are ravens. In northern Michigan, there are ravens. Um, but there aren't down in the plains here. And that kind of started the planting the seed. It's not necessarily a personal connection other than um, exploring the, the form of the bird through a medium. I do like the fact that in public art, lots of people get to see it. Uh, other pieces that I've sold, they sit in a room somewhere and only one or two people get to see it. So it's nice that there is some recognition uh, by a broader public.